Gillian Anderson portrays Emily Maitlis in Netflix drama Scoop, a fictionalized account of how Newsnight secured their 2019 interview with Prince Andrew. Emily Maitlis has responded to Gillian Anderson's claim that she probably came across as a lunatic upon meeting her for the first time. The actress stars as journalist Emily in Netflix Scoop, a fictionalized retelling of how Newsnight secured their headline-grabbing interview with Prince Andrew back in 2019. During an interview on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, the sex education actress, 55, revealed that she confidently went in for a really big hug when she met Emily for the first time as she felt like she knew her already. Looking back on her antics however, she believes it may have freaked the journalist out a little. Speaking to the Stephen, she began by explaining she had been invited to watch Emily be interviewed by Keir Starmer last year. Gillian said she looked a mess for the occasion following a busy day with work commitments and her children, but didn't want to miss out on the opportunity. As the host held up a picture of her alongside Emily from the event, Gillian claimed she looked more like a journalist due to her casual outfit, while fabulous Emily could have been mistaken for an actress with her glamorous appearance. Quizzed on how their first meeting went, she shared, I've been studying her for so long, I knew her so well, it was like she's my friend. I went in for a really really big hug. Asked if the hug was well perceived. She joked, I think I may have come across as a lunatic and claimed Emily may now think she's a weirdo. The journalist has since shared the interview on her platform X page telling fans she was utterly psyched that Stephen had watched her McTaggart lecture many times and was bold over meeting Gillian. She shared, and was delighted to meet at Gilliana, never a lunatic. Utterly charming. I was in awe and slightly bold over. Emily is currently working on an Amazon three-part series about the same royal interview, but recently said she believes there's room for both productions. Speaking to Deadline, she said, I've left, those behind Scoop, very much to do their own thing because I think the last thing they want is me peeking around the edges offering my, views. It says it's based on a fictional account, so I think it goes into different places and it does different things, to the Amazon series. Downplaying any rivalry, she added. I think that probably is overplayed, overstated. Netflix prefaces Scoop with a disclaimer that reads. This film is based on real events. However certain elements have been fictionalized for dramatic purposes.